The past year has not been very kind for crypto, and so far we see some recovery, but we're still a long way off from the heyday of crypto. I know many of you are in deep doubt, and some of you should be hopeless. But in this video, Raul Powell, the ex-hedge fund manager, investment strategist, and crypto expert is going to show you why you should not give up on crypto, and more importantly, how you can make this one of the best times for investing. Keep watching till the end and hit that subscribe button and show us your support. So 2018 was the last time the Federal Reserve stopped raising rates. They didn't cut until I think it was August 2019. So what happened was the moment the Fed went on hold, the markets went on an upside rampage. They were down kind of 30% and then they recovered. So not wildly dissimilar to now. And if I look out over the next year, well, the S&P did about 10%. The NASDAQ did about 14%. Kind of those growthy tech stocks, the kind of ARK style stuff, they did about 18%. So that's that was good. Bitcoin did 100%. And that's after it got up 400% and corrected. If you want to know the future, the easiest thing to do is to look back and learn from the past. As Raul pointed out, when Feds eased the monetary policy and flooded the market with liquidity, stocks, and crypto did really well. And that's an understatement when it comes to crypto. Because while NASDAQ, S&P 500, and all other stocks went up by around 10, 15, or even 20 percent, Bitcoin went over the moon with over a 100 percent appreciation. That too after a major correction. And guess what? Even after that, it wasn't even an all-time high. As Raul perfectly points it out, the point to understand here is that the crypto market, which is relatively new compared to all other asset classes, is volatile and fluctuates more. And its upside potential is almost always underrated and the downside is always exaggerated. And time after time, Bitcoin has proved these wrong. So, if you feel like it's the end of the world and we're all going to die without seeing a single net positive in our portfolios, just relax, take a deep breath, and be patient. Look at it from a long-term perspective. And when you look back one day, you too will say, well, I survived and actually made some money. During the interview, Raul also emphasized the need to pay attention to long-term macroeconomic developments. Our job in financial markets, particularly macro, is to live in the future. Looking around today is useless, but looking around, what is the world going to look like in six months' time? Are the Fed raising rates in six months' time? Almost a 0% chance because inflation has peaked, growth is falling, we're going to recession. Normally, they would cut rates at that point. Now, they might be a little bit slow to do that because they really, really want to see inflation lower. But it means that the rate of change of all these rate hikes and all this bad news starts slowing down. When the panic hits and portfolios start losing value overnight, investors go crazy. And in the process, the biggest victim is the ability to think clearly. What are the chances of the Feds increasing the rates again? Almost zero. Why? Because they desperately want to keep the inflation down and keep the recession in check. They will try to cut the rates down. Now, these policy changes can be late and take time, but the reality is, things are slowly getting better. As Raul puts it, the rate of change of all the rate hikes are getting lower, and the influx of bad news is starting to slow down. And he goes on to expose the fallacies of the current doomsday narratives surrounding the economy and Bitcoin. Is it the current interest rate or the rate of change in interest rates that matter? It's around 4.5% right now. Right? So what? As Raul questions, has that significantly affected your investment decision making? Has that prevented companies from being successful? Of course, you, companies, and even the economy get changed with the interest rate level to accommodate the differences. But come on, the changes in rates are so trivial that there are many other factors that can contribute to investing decisions, not just in Bitcoin, but in everything. So, this mainstream's obsession with the Fed interest rate clearly distorts the bigger picture and you should not fall for that. Another way to pass this difficult time is to see that these changes, rises and falls are always cyclical and always will be. As Raul puts it, the feds tighten up the monetary policy. Then after some time again, they go for QEs and this happens back and forth. It takes some time and the recovery is never an instantaneous V-shape, but you will go to full bags again. It will be a bit shaky, but as it will get better. You probably see many wild doomsday predictions online these days. News stories and YouTube videos like, it's the market crash all over again, or 2008 is going to repeat again this time. But the reality is, right now what we are experiencing is a perfectly normal recession, and it's nowhere even close to the 2000 
dot-com bubble or the 2007 financial crisis. Banks have tougher lending policies and companies are not as overvalued as they were back then. The stocks are correcting themselves and crypto is slowly recovering back to its logarithmic channel. Everything is right where they should be. So, don't lose hope and don't give in to fear-mongering. Do you agree with Raoul's point or do you think he is missing something? Let us know in the comments and join the conversation. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned and I'll be back with another one.